I think one thing about Papa that many of you don't know is that she is really good at sewing. So she used to buy big pieces of cloth to cut out and make matching pajamas for my mom and I. And I think one thing that she really envies about her grandchildren is that we can all play musical instruments and I think that's something that she's always wanted to do. So when I was younger and when I used to practice the violin at home, she would sit next to me just either reading her newspaper or making copies of the daily bread and I think that's just how she kept her mind really active. And she was definitely the biggest reason and motivator for me to study hard and get into dental school and I'm glad that she stayed around long enough to see me get into my first year of dental school. And I really love Papa a lot and I'm sure that many of you will miss her as much as I do. And she was just such a great presence in everyone's lives. As a little boy, I would always look forward to Papa coming to Penang. Uh, and she'd come maybe to stay for a few months, maybe one, two months, and to spend time with us. And I always look forward to her uh, frying onions, you know, teaching the maids how to fry onions, or she'd actually uh, make pow for us, and it tasted the best. One particular memory I'm very fond of is uh, how she'd catch me playing the computer secretly. You see, I like playing computer games, but my mom would not allow me to play computer games only on Saturday night. I wouldn't be allowed to touch the computer. So when she goes out on the weekday, I would secretly play the computer. And little do I know that when Papa is at home, she can sneak up just to stand beside me, watch me play computer, and she can scold me suddenly, and I'm just playing computer game engrossed in the game. And suddenly I look around, oh, she's there behind me. And she starts scolding me, hey, you know what to you know, she'll start scolding me in Chinese and say that I need to start working hard. Why are you playing computer when you're not supposed to? <laughs> but that instilled in me a uh, sort of an importance to study. Uh. But I remember how she was like a ninja and how she'd appear from nowhere just to catch me. Um, but having Popo around in Penang was always something very joyful. And uh, despite me not going to Singapore that much, time with her was always precious. So I really appreciate my time with her and these little small things. They mean a lot. Hello. Hi. Is it us? Hi. Papa has always been a sacrificial grandma to me. Uh, I always remember her peeling up um, the orange, the mandarin oranges for me, even to the the peel, and she would give me the best parts of the fish. She would always help me peel up fish. And give me piece by piece and I will say thank you. And she give me another piece and I'll say thank you. And she always laughs at me for keep on saying thank you. But um, what I know is um Papa always uh, thinks about her children and her grandchildren. And she always wants the best for all of us. Mm, Papa is um very welcoming for me. I still remember when I was just dating art and there was a surprise birthday party for me and everybody was wearing green and even Papa was so sporting, she also wore green and for Aurora, she's the luckiest because she's the first great-grandchild to be carried by Papa. Yay! Say something? Aww, she gave a smile Okay, bye-bye Say bye Bye. <laughs> Bye. One thing that I remember about Papa is her food. How she always came over to Penang and how we looked forward to eating her pao and her fried shallots. And um, the other thing that I remember about her fondly is how she used to. Hey, Summer! is to whip my brothers into shape and scold them for not studying but saying that I was the exemplary grandson who studied really hard and so I will miss her a lot and I'm looking forward to seeing her again when Jesus comes I got to spend some time with Popo especially when we would go on the baby family trips together and I always remember her as a, she was very kind um, to me and she would occasionally speak some French as well, which was really nice. Um, I always remember Popo for being a very um, 
healthy and fit lady who loved her exercise. And, um, I really wish that our daughter Sema had the chance to get to know her great grandmother. So Bobo would be dearly missed by us. Okay. Alright, see you Bobo. We love you. Sacrifice so much for us, often working behind the scenes which we never knew how you did it. You were so busy working full time for the hospital as well as participating in lots of church activities and on top of that bringing up four little girls. You were never loud or bossy, often giving us lots of Choices and decisions to make on our own at a very young age. You were never reached. But I know you love God very much. And you have made us attend church every Sabbath. Sometimes I just hated it. And on top of that, besides attending English church, you made us go to Chinese church. Oh dear, what a long day every Sabbath. But that was also a good training ground for us because we even joined the English and Chinese church choir and we have learned to pick up Chinese language. On top of that, we were surrounded with church music and people who were God-fearing and at a very young age, you have taught us to seek after God. That was the best gift that you have given to me is to have Jesus Christ in my life. Despite our own activities, you have always made an effort to bind the family as a kid. And even towards the later part of our life, you have always tried to make an effort to come back together yearly. And we have shared so many wonderful moments together as a family. And I would like to say thank you, and I hope that we shall meet again in the heavenly shore when Jesus comes again. When I was younger, I remember Papa used to set aside a time to give us a Chinese tuition, and she would also give us dictionary to make sure that we don't forget the vocab that she taught us the previous day. The most fondest memories I have of Papa is when she and Gong Gong would come over to have dinner with us as a family. That, that, uh, those are the memories that I really cherish. Popo is an inspiring person who lived a fruitful life and has lived life to the fullest. She has set an example for many to follow. I remember the times when Popo used to lecture Gong Gong but they always make up in the end. Through that, I've learned that differences in opinions are insignificant when love is present.